of the billions of stars twinkling overhead, one may be a scourge to life on Earth, an evil twin to the sun named Nemesis. Some scientists suspect that Nemesis is a dark, still undiscovered star orbiting our sun. And every 26 million years, it triggers a disaster. We know that the solar system is surrounded by this enormous cloud of comets. And so these successive passages of the sun's companion would send comets into the inner solar system. Some of them would hit Earth. What follows is death on a colossal scale. It is now widely accepted that a rock from space caused the end of the age of dinosaurs 65 million years ago. But astronomer Richard Muller has proposed a revolutionary theory to explain why that space rock crashed to Earth at that particular moment. The Nemesis theory postulates that there's a star orbiting the sun uh, at a 26 million year period. That's about it. Almost no other assumptions need to be made. Muller believes that as Nemesis nears the sun, its gravitational disturbance sends comets flying through the solar system. The resulting impacts have been the source of many major extinction events in Earth's history. Muller explains how the theory came about. Two paleontologists, when looking at patterns of extinctions, came across something that seemed utterly insane. They said that similar extinctions were taking place every 26 million years on a regular schedule. The discovery of a 26 million year pattern of extinctions seemed impossible to explain by any process native to the Earth itself. This is the sort of thing you dream about in science. It means there's something we don't understand. It means there's a discovery waiting. So I set about trying to figure out what that was. Muller made an astonishing proposal. The only logical cause of these periodic extinctions is a cosmic stalker that orbits our sun every 26 million years, disturbing the comets on each approach. In short, a Death Star companion to our sun. If this star is discovered, it is so important. It was a major player in the evolution of life on Earth. Without this, perhaps the dinosaurs would still be here. If Muller is right, humanity itself could owe its existence to the nemesis Death Star. After all, each mass extinction wiped out vast numbers of species but each also cleared the way for new species to arise, including, ultimately, humans. Now, why haven't we found it yet? I mean, actually, there are quite a few astronomers who don't pay very much attention to this and simply assume that if it existed, it would have been found by now. We believe this thing can be found within the next few years. What it takes is a survey of dim stars. Enter WISE, the orbiting wide-field infrared survey explorer, a powerful new tool that just might crack the nemesis mystery. The reason that WISE is going to be so good is because it operates in, in the infrared. It sees heat, basically. By measuring heat instead of light, infrared scanners can make warm but dark objects easy to spot. The nice thing about looking in the infrared at the heat of it is you don't care how far away you are from the sun. Jupiter provides an example. The temperature on the surface of Jupiter measures 230 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. But that's blazing hot when contrasted with the 450 degree below zero temperature of space. So even in the absence of sunlight, a distant Jupiter-like planet would glow brightly in the infrared. The hot spots of the race car are sort of like warm, glowing objects out in the cold depths of space far from the sun. This is a whole new way of discovering objects, objects too faint to be seen through a normal optical telescope, but bright enough to be detected in the infrared. 
the WISE telescope completed its sky survey in early 2011. But in the search for Nemesis, the results are still inconclusive. The WISE survey is going to take a long time to, to analyze, simply because there's a huge amount of data that had been gathered by this craft. About half of the Nemesis candidates have not yet been studied, but in the next few years, we expect the theory will be either proven right or wrong. Until that time, it is and should be controversial. <laughs>